What's going on, everybody? So with all the TWAB changes that I've seen over the years, uh, there are only ever really been a few of them that I've really, truly been like, what the fuck is this shit over? Like, there's been some where it was like, this is a stupid fucking change, but there were some that I've just been like, holy shit over. And this was one of them. This was the biggest, uh, the worst nerf I think they've ever put out uh, for Destiny. Uh, not in terms of the, you know amount that they're nerfing something by yeah they've nerfed things in, in the ground before but i th truly think this is the stupidest nerf that bungie ever did in the game um and so no this is not the sliding nerf or whatever i don't fucking care okay sliding nerf whatever the fuck i don't care uh but i know that's a big deal right now but it inspired me to talk about this change it happened all the way back in february of 2020 and that was the pve sniper nerf you guys may remember this is a fucking massive deal at the time. So with Shadowkeep launching, they buffed uh, snipers in PvE uh, by 20% to major enemies and above, which is, of course, where you'd be using snipers at. So previously, snipers fucking sucked. I mean, let's be real here. Snipers were pretty much never used. In fact, a lot of special weapons sucked in general until they buffed shotguns. Uh, they just weren't really as good as using heavies. Hell, they really still aren't, almost if you're running a, a slug shoddy or something. Uh, but, you know, snipers at the time when they buffed them were really awesome. And so, you know, the whole thing with the nerf is like, oh yeah, you're super far away from enemies and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the thing with snipers. Uh, shotguns are way easier to use because you're way more up close. You get easier access to the crit. It's way easier to hit a crit whenever you're up close on something. And, uh, also they typically, like I said, they're just way easier to use. If you're using a pellet shotgun, you don't really have to aim anymore. You just, just shoot it and you're good. Uh, you know, obviously you should go for the crit, but then there's going to be tons of pellets around the crit. Um, and then you have the slug shotties, which are, are a bit harder to use, but I mean, not really. The crits are always really easy to get when you're up close. When you're a bit farther away, sometimes the crits could be a fucking bitch, like on Vex and shit. Sometimes they could be a real pain in the ass. And that's how you do damage on snipers. You can't just get a body shot on a sniper and consider that to be good DPS. No, body shots on snipers are fucking terrible. They always have been that way since D1. They're never good. You got to get headshots. You got to hit the crits with snipers. They have a huge, uh, a much bigger skill gap than pretty much any other weapon in the entire game uh, in terms of PvE usage. I mean, it really is something you have to do. It's not like uh, I can, you know, if I don't hit the crit, then it's like whatever. It's not going to be like a super far off. No, it fucking fucks your DPS in the ass. And so this was a huge thing at the time in that it created probably my favorite PvE sandbox of all time, which was Shadowkeep. Uh you know, launch Shadowkeep, and then also going a little bit into the Season of the Dawn, uh, the sniper change was fucking fantastic. I absolutely love snipers. They have such a, you know, a much bigger skill gap than shotguns and, and fusion rifles, uh, and now, of course, grenade launchers, uh, and they, they are just way more satisfying to use for me um, because of the fact that they have that higher skill gap, uh, you know, than the other guns. Now, obviously, there's Divinity, but that's a whole other subject in itself. Um, but yeah, this really required you to hit crits. So the biggest weapon at the time was Izanagi's Burden, which if you had the catalyst, you know, you, you pump the, uh, you know, you get the one shot and I forget the honed edge uh, times four. It did trucks loads of damage. Now, this was before pretty much everybody was using Divinity and Raids. It took them quite a bit for people to really get the Divinity and stuff. Uh, you, you had to hit your crit. Uh, or else it was a complete waste of fucking time. Like, your your damage sucked on hon Honed Edge times 4 even without, you know, the crit. You had to hit the crit uh, for it to be really, really good. And so this is what made it a lot more fucking fun to me, is actually having to hit the crits, not just mindlessly aiming like you do with, like, Xenophage or something. Like, legitimately having to hit the crit made it way more fun to me, and generally snipers are just a lot more fun in that aspect. Uh, so you had Izanagi's Burden was big time on top. You guys, uh, hopefully you remember the... Uh, I forget what it was called. Uh, they, they had the the Season of the Drifter sniper rifle uh, that you can get firing line on it. That one was a biggie. Uh, you had the uh, sniper rifle from uh, the Moon, which I forget what it's also called. But you could get uh, firing line on it. You can get high impact reserves. Uh, there's a, I think there's another role that was pretty good on it. And then you had the Trophy Hunter, which introduced Vorpal Weapon on it. You had the Triple Tab Vorpal Weapon role, which is... Pretty much my favorite sniper of all time. Like, when that sniper came out, it was a fucking monster in PvE, and I loved it. Um, and so they decided, for some fucking reason, to revert this buff uh, in February of 2020, saying uh, that they were reduced to pre-Shadowkeep value, the damage of it. 
And so for a while, pretty much until Beyond Light came out, or, or rather, um, or uh, what was it? Um, Season of Arrivals. Uh, snipers from then on out were pretty much dead. I mean, there really was no reason to use snipers. We've had a couple of good snipers since then. We've had uh, the Aikilo sniper rifle. Now, the thing is with rapid fire frames is that on paper, they're really good. But in reality, unless if you have Divinity going, uh, it's a, it's pretty hard to actually use because you have, you know, it's like a 140 RPM. You have that long zoom scope. It's really hard to consistently hit crits. So in general, for me, it's always a better idea to run a 90 or 72 RPM sniper rifle. Um, and in that case, we have the Succession Sniper Rifle. It's unfortunately a Kinetic Sniper Rifle. I usually prefer them to be Energy. But that one is pretty solid. You get Reconstruction Vorpal on it, which is a pretty good roll, and I, I do really like that one. You have the Predive's Revenge, which came out, which is a Kinetic. Uh, Rapid Fire Sniper, once again, I don't really like that, being at High Impact Reserves on there. And uh, I think Triple Tap or Four Times of Charms or Rewind Rounds? I think it was Rewind Rounds, yeah. Uh, so there have been some good snipers since then. Uh, but in general, snipers are still to this day a shadow of their former selves uh, with these Shadow Keep launch. And so that is what I believe to be the stupidest nerf in Destiny history. Um, you have, sh you know, a little recap here. Snipers have the biggest skill gap out of any special weapon in the entire fucking game. You've got shotguns, which, you know, just pellets. You, know, you don't really have to. I mean, the only challenge with it is getting up close to your enemy, which isn't really a challenge. It's just the boss stomp bullshit that happens. Uh, you have slug shotties. Same thing as regular shotguns, except you have, you know, you have to hit the crit or whatever, but even the body shot damage is still fine. But it's a lot easier to hit a crit whenever you're up close to a target. Um, and then you have, you know, fusion rifles, which they're fucking fusion rifles. You don't have to get crits with, so they're naturally incredibly easy to use. Uh, grenade launchers, once again, really easy to use. Uh, but sniper rifles had that skill cap that I fucking loved. And I know there are people out there that just yearn for the days where we can go back to Shadowkeep and, and beast on fuckers of Izanagi's Burden, or go back to, you know, Destiny 1, where we had, you know, Black Spindle, we had fucking, oh my god, remember Whisper of the Worm? That sniper was sick as fuck. We had, you know, fucking uh, Ex Machina, or Ex Machina, I forget what exactly what it was called, but it was the Amalan sniper uh, in the Wrath of the Machine raid. Uh, you know, you had, a, you had a lot of other snipers, but those are the ones that are coming off my head that I absolutely loved. I mean, Thousand Yard Stare was really awesome. You had the... Um, I think it was the Event Horizon. I had a really good roll on that. Uh, and just tons of other awesome snipers, man. And that's not really like nostalgia shit. Those snipers were really fucking good back in the day. Uh, and so I really miss those times of having, you know, being able to, you know, have snipers be actually viable for for boss damage. Um, was super, super nice back in the day. I still use snipers all the time because I just like using snipers. But I, I still think it was the stupidest nerf in Destiny history. And um, yeah, there's the video. And if you guys disagree, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. I, I can't think of a nerf uh, that Destiny has ever gotten, uh, that Bungie's ever done, that is stupider than this. This is just the, the pinnacle of retardation when it comes to nerfs, and I'm still slightly salty about it to this day. And, um, yeah. Peace.